Hello, my name is Richard Leggett and I'm the CEO of Frontier View. And today I'm joined by Marco Parasso, one of our lead client services managers. We're excited to share our next generation Frontier View desktop application with you. We are thrilled to introduce this completely redesigned user experience that was purpose built with the global business professional in mind. And it was specifically built to support your key workflows and routines, specifically around strategic planning, market monitoring and international expansion. Before we jump in, I would like to provide a very quick overview of our firm and the way we support executives like yourself and your company. Frontier View is a leading market intelligence and advisory firm with a vision to provide the world's best market intelligence and advisory services for global business professionals. From the beginning, we created Frontier View to be different from traditional market intelligence and research companies. And we did this in three ways. First, our solutions have been purpose-built for business professionals. You'll see this in every aspect of our work from the design of our online experience or the research reports or our one on one briefings that you would have with our analysts to even our senior executive roundtable events. We feel so strongly about this differentiator that we made it our tagline market intelligence built for business. Second, our business model is quite different. We call it strategic intelligence as a service. Frontier View is the only market intelligence solution that combines information resources analyst access and executive roundtable events and webinars in one single offering with pricing to meet all different sorts of budgets. And then our final differentiator is our client centric ethos from our analysts and our client services managers like Marco to our marketers and our developers. Our entire global team is passionate about tailoring our service to support your needs. The results are in the numbers as our average client has been with us for over six continuous years and we have a growing number of decade long clients, which has essentially been with us from the very beginning of Frontier View. I could go on and on, but for the purposes of today's discussion, I wanna pass it over to Marco, who can showcase our new Frontier View application and its many features and content assets. Marco? Thank you for the introduction, Rich. I'd like to start with our homepage, a redesigned interface and experience with daily news analysis, data rich insights, actionable research and event presentations all in one place. Here you have immediate access to our extensive library of market intelligence ranging from market reviews, regional outlooks, daily news analysis, data rich insights and event recordings and slide decks. By utilizing our all content powerful search functionality here, you can quickly find the insights you need that drive your business decisions. Through this function, you now have access, you can now access relevant and timely content all in one place. Here, you can also view your most important markets and regions and strategic topics. So, for instance, you can simply search for a market, and we can just use Mexico as an example. You can search for Mexico, press search, and you will see all Mexico-related news. Here, you can see our industry-specific to B2C companies to B2B companies and our latest research review on Mexico. But you will also be able to see all of our inside by analyst commentary from our key researchers. We like to say that we do the thousands of hours of work so that you don't have to. So simply by looking at Mexico as an example, we can take its latest review, click on it, and here you will be able to see the full document. It's very easy to navigate using the arrow buttons on the sides, and you can bookmark it for future reference here on the top right. You can share it on Twitter, on LinkedIn, and you can share it to your peers and colleagues around the region or around the world, and you can download it as a PDF or a PowerPoint. You also have the opportunity to engage with our community by commenting or contacting our analysts for an engagement. Here you are able to enter a message if you have any questions on strategic topics or any key indicators and topics mentioned in the presentation. You are able to request more information from Alejandro who will be able to get in touch with you and answer all the questions you may have. Marco, one of the cool features I think of this um, that you just talked about is the ability to download into PowerPoint. And uh, many of our clients often when they're preparing internal presentations might have an image or a chart that's in our research that they want to embed into their PowerPoint. 
And it's very quick to do that because they can download the entire report into PowerPoint and then insert it in their own internal presentations. Absolutely, yes. Uh, I couldn't agree more. We're always mentioned and our data is always included in these quarterly business reviews, strategic planning sessions with leadership teams that are across the regions, across the international markets as a whole, and they're frequently use our markets and charts and our forecasts for what to expect in the markets. And so I just want to highlight one other, one other thing here um, is your ability to filter through certain content. So for instance, here you are able to see all of our information. So that includes the data analysis, the insight bites, the, the news commentary from our researchers, as well as our research reports and webinars. Um, but by looking at this filters section here, you're really able to tailor, tailor it to the most important thing to you and the most relevant information for you and your team. So if you're only interested in reports, for instance, you can filter by report. And here you'll be able to see regional, country specific, and sub-regional reports on your most important markets, such as Egypt here, uh, for instance, Russia, uh, Russia event on consumer demand recovery, and our Southern Cone outlook for 2020 and what we expect for the future. What I also will highlight here is you can look, you can see our insight bites from our analysts as well, looking at a variety of different topics and opportunities for you and your company and how the news and insights are really able to drive your decision making. Marco, what's the difference in your words of an insight bite versus an in-depth research report? So an insight bite is uh, a very quick one slide version of the most important aspect that we're covering. So for instance here, we can look at this particular slide here, which is about the Chilean plebiscite that just happened um, two weekends ago. And our research analyst, Alex Schober, is taking the news uh, and, and what's driving the news and is able to really write about it and provide original research behind the news as to how this is going to impact the business, your, the, our client's business, and um, what actions that they can take in the future. So for instance, this important insight bite is really looking at the political turmoil around the consensus and the uh, constitutional reform that needs, in, that needs to happen in Chile. And it looks at the early voting intentions for April for the, the midterm elections, uh, and what companies can expect to happen in in Chile. Yeah, I think that's quite an important, course, I'm, I'm sorry ahead. to interrupt, but I was gonna say, I think it's quite important because it, it, it really, one of the things we always talk about internally is that we help separate signal from noise, and the insight bite is a quick way to get to some of the most important information uh, and the implications uh, to you as a business professional, um, and we do these across all of the markets. Absolutely, and just to highlight that even more, if, the, if you have any questions on this particular topic, on any insight bite that you come across on the portal, you're really able to comment and request more information, ask any questions that you might have, as we're always here to try and answer your most important questions and to support you in these most important markets. So that really is the, the all-powerful and, and the search bar that is available through the Frontier View platform. What I do want to highlight as a last thing on the homepage is your bookmarked content. Now, this is a fantastic way to see and read information um, across the platform, across your markets, um, on a variety of different strategic topics. So let's say, for instance, you're, you, you're um, drinking your morning coffee uh, and you don't have time to read the entire market review for Egypt or, or any or the Mexican economy news article um, and you wish to read it at a later date when you can uh, you can bookmark it as I showed you to do here by clicking on this button and it will automatically save from your mobile app from your iPad app onto your desktop so you're really able to transfer information um, across your accounts to ensure that you're able to read the information that's available and keep up to date with the most important markets regarding key strategic to topics such as recovery uh, and macroeconomic news. 
So with that, um, let me navigate the the and let me navigate and explain the top of the page here. Uh, you'll be able to find our navigation bar here. You can quickly toggle from our inclusive home experience to specific curated insights by market, region, topic, to utilizing our vast database and dashboard tool to analyze our award-winning data forecasts. So let's deep dive into our markets page, your, your one-stop shop for all market-related content. Here you can see our offering for key markets and regions. Of course, more markets are covered. However, these are some of the key markets requested by our clients for the prioritization. For this demonstration, let's take a look at our China page. Up this top section, you'll find our latest market view with key trends and short-term data driving the market. In the section below, you'll be able to see all of our China-related content in one place, which is both searchable and shareable. These pages are a great resource for when you need to align your team or quickly grasp market trends and forecast revisions for your internal decision making. Then as we go up at the top, for instance, you can see that we have also grouped them by subregions. So let's say, for instance, you're interested in the Middle East and North Africa, the MENA region. Here you're able to see all news related to the Middle East and North Africa. So these vary from strategic topics uh, to our macroeconomic research, which is a fantastic resource to understand the market trends and dynamics and the key areas of opportunity for you and your company. Marco, I think one of the interesting things is also our, our search and filtering um, functionality carries through throughout all of these pages so that you know, once you're comfortable mm -hmm. using it, you can filter down by type of content or search anything within that market that's interesting to you. Absolutely. So just as an example, for instance, we can look up for, we can search Oman to see the latest news that there might be for Oman. Here you have our latest 2020 and 2021 outlook. Um, you know, our, for our updated outlook from earlier on in the year, um, as well as any previous resources that cover Oman in particular. Um, that, of course, is just one market. If you want to see just the, any webinar recordings, for instance, here you can see our multimedia, and this looks at, you know, our MENA outlook for healthcare. Uh, here we look at the UAE outlook for 2021, uh, Saudi Arabia, etc. And then, of course, as you go further down, you can see more and more information that's relevant to the MENA region in particular. And so, for instance, if you want to understand more on another market, we can look at Algeria, search for Algeria, and here you'll be able to see all of our latest research, news insights, data analysis on Algeria and what we expect for the, the recovery in, in Algeria. As we move across um, the, the top hub over here, uh, the navigation bar, we, we can see that second section and a new resource that I'd like to walk you through, which are our hubs. Now, this section utilizes our powerful technology suite um, and keyword tagging to quickly deliver aggregated insights on topics that matter to you. Uh, so as you can see, these vary from Brexit to US-China relations uh, to our management best practices, like channel management. And we are constantly monitoring markets and macroeconomic macro events when an event like COVID-19, for instance, hits the world or a region without warning, and we are quickly able to cover the business implications and provide the insights to our clients ahead of the competition. So, for example, we can look at Brexit here. This has all research relating to Brexit, our latest update, uh, all the latest news that we are covering. Uh, we look at both on the UK side and on the EU side to ensure that we're really tracking the key events on, on this negotiation and on this process to ensure that our clients are best prepared for any implications that might happen from it. Again, you can use the search bar, you can filter through, uh, you can see any Brexit-related content uh, that you've bookmarked, for instance, so if you wish to bookmark this uh, news article here, um, you're able to see it in your home page 
and your home bookmark page as well. And then just to show you another example, our COVID-19 related hub, you can find all of our latest information, research, uh, resources, and news monitoring related to the, the evolving impact of COVID-19 on global businesses. Um, our team of global analysts up these, update these hubs daily to provide the latest analysis and information on fast-moving events. And again, you can use the search bar uh, if you're interested in learning more about Brazil. You can search for any Brazil-related news, see all of the information that's available regarding Brazil and COVID-19, uh, and the same for other international markets across the globe. So moving along the uh, navigation bar here at the top, we can move on to our data, um, our data function. Here is the best place to inform your decisions, targets, and business plans um, as you depend on the most accurate data. As we move towards this tab in particular, you are taken to a new page where you have the independence and flexibility to select your key markets and indicators. As you can see here, you can easily visualize the data in a number of different formats, as I show you in just a second. So we can just use China as an example, uh, and we can compare that to Russia and let's just say India. You press next, you select your most important indicators that you want to evaluate and look at. Here you can change it from you know, GDP, consumer spending to investment, etc. And we'll just say inflation for the time being. And here you have the data chart and all the information relevant to what you've selected. And as I mentioned, you can visualize it in a line chart, in a bar chart, in a column chart, etc. You can download as an Excel, CSV, etc. Here you can have you always have the most up-to-date and accurate forecasts whenever you need them through our data tab, uh, as these forecasts are, are frequently updated uh, and are constantly the, the best in-house forecasting available. As we move towards the, the top of the page again, the last thing I'd like to show you uh, and talk about is our customizable dashboards. Marco, sorry to interrupt, but before you move on, I just, uh, one of the things I think is really great about the data uh, section here is mm -hmm. the ability to download the information into Excel um, mm -hmm. and, and also to you know, visualize it in lots of different ways with just some clicks. Yeah, absolutely. So just to show, give an example. Here, for instance, this is a bar chart. Um, obviously, it provides quite a, a wide time gap, so it's very easy to navigate and toggle these into the most important year, say if you're interested in five-year strategic planning. Um, and then, of course, you can see the countries in this bar chart. But let's say, for instance, you prefer seeing it as a line chart, you're able to see it as a line chart as well, and look at the comparison between the three countries that you've selected, or however many countries you are interested in selecting. And then, of course, this is for the consumer price index. If you wish to change it to GDP, all you have to do is switch between the two, and you'll be able to see all of our latest forecasts for the countries that you selected and for the indicators that you're interested in. And so here, this is the line chart example, but if you want to see uh, an area chart, it's available. If you want to see it in a, a bar chart, it's also available as well. So as I move towards the customizable dashboards, uh, similar to the data homepage, you're able to track your essential market developments and key trends and indicators, as well as news coverage and strategic insights. So as you create a new dashboard, you will see two options. You can either create from scratch or start with a single market. Um, and as single market and our recommended set of cards, this is where you have the ability to customize your experience, to monitor your key markets with insights, research, and award-winning data forecasts. You can see different options available through the um, data, ranging from data to research uh, to uploading any internal files as well. So let me just walk you through this real quick. Um, this can be just be our example. Uh, we'll start with a single market, press next, and here you can select all the, the, part, the market that you're most interested in. Um, so we can just use Russia as an example, press done. 
and then it will automatically create a dashboard for you about Russia. So it has all of our macroeconomic and qualitative analysis. It has our news and views here on the right, our currency trends and forecasts, our demand drivers and forecasts, um, and then any key indicators on a month-over-month -month basis, as well as research here on the left that is relevant to Russia in particular, and then finally risk factors, economic trends, trends and trade trends. That is just an example of a single country dashboard. As we move towards back back to your back towards your, your dashboards, and when we create a new dashboard and we start from scratch, um, we can start from scratch um, and we can just call this emerging markets. Uh, we'll press done. And here this is where you have even more flexibility and independence to select the most important areas of information that are relevant to you and your team. So if you're interested in data, it's available here, a research as well, uh, an RSS feed, uploading an internal file as well. Just as an example, we can select our, our data, select the key markets, um, we can just do China, uh, Brazil, India, Mexico, and uh, let's say Russia, press next, you can select and browse all the indicators that are available um, if you're interested in consumer spending, the unemployment rate, for instance, industrial production, uh, etc. We'll just keep it very simple now um, with these two, press done, and it automatically creates a dashboard with your markets that you're interested in. You can, of course, play around with the size, uh, the dates as well. Um, and prioritize the information to how you wish to see it. And again, as you know, and as I discussed with the, the data tab, you can change this into any format that you prefer. If you'd rather see it in a data table, you can. If you'd rather see it in a column chart, you can. It's all available, all convenient and at your fingertips to help inform you and to power your business planning in particular. And then, of course, you can add more information here, such as research and insights, um, a scratch pad, a, a, a data Google file. So just as an example, we can include the research here. And we'll just keep it even more simple and say Russia and India. Press done. And here you have a new tab with Russia and India-related content and our monthly market view on that market. Here, so for instance, India is our monthly market trends, what we're looking ahead at, and any key developments that have happened in the past month, and the same with Russia here at the bottom. So I hope that's provided a, a good overview um, of the of all the information that's available, of the dashboards and of the search bar. Um, of course, we are always here if you have any questions, so please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, to anyone on the frontier of your team, and we will happily get in touch and, and support you as you navigate this very exciting new tool and um, market monitoring service. Thank you, Marco. That was a very comprehensive overview of uh, our new Frontier View platform. Uh, and hopefully, uh, I, I think you did a very good job, but hopefully uh, those that are watching this uh, understand why we say it's built for business, because it really has been tailored for the business professional. If you're a current client, I encourage you to log in today at app.frontierview.com and bookmark this new link and start exploring all the new features and functionality Frontier View has to offer. If you're not a client, not to worry, please contact us to start your complimentary trial by leaving a comment on the video or email us at info, I-N-F-O, at FrontierView.com, and a member of our team will be in touch. Finally, as part of our offering in technology enhancements, I also want to mention that we recently launched a new mobile app, FrontierView Mobile, which is available on both iOS and Android. It includes all the relevant content you need to monitor markets, including our research, our expert commentary, the insight bites that Marco showed you, and more. And we encourage you to download the app on the App Store to have access to these insights and more at your fingertips. And what's really cool is that it's interoperable with the desktop app as Marco demonstrated. As always, Frontier View and your dedicated client services team stand by ready to support you and your teams as you navigate these uncertain times. 
Thank you so much for your time today, and we hope you enjoy the next generation of Frontier View.